that was the Europe Brompton bicycle that's been converted over with a crystallite saw motor or Brompton conversion kit. And this is a little direct drive motor that carries a bit of punch for its size, but it can feed up a fair bit, especially going up larger hills. Uh, so here we're situated right on the top of Little Mountain at the Bordel Conservatory in Vancouver. Uh, this is the highest point in the city and it's the best staging ground we could find for determining how hot this motor gets on a serious hill climbing situation and then to find out just how much an effect stator aid will have at keeping the motor cool and letting it push those power limits longer and harder. But I've got an analog device on the bicycle that's logging the temperature of the motor, the power, all that stuff as I'm riding up and down. I'm going to use regenerative braking on the downhill so the motor's getting no opportunities to cool down. I'm going to keep doing that until the motor gets overheated, like 130, 140 degrees Celsius, or until the temperature stabilizes. Uh, then I'm going to stop, inject some stator in the motor, and do the exact same set of riding, and then see at what kind of temperature the motor reaches with stator aid inside the hub. All right? Seven point nine. How much? Eighty six. Trying to keep up with you. Ninety four. One more run. Here he goes. And that's the steady state temperature with the cycle analyst now limiting my maximum power to not let it get too hot. Uh, so it's limiting me to about 600 watts. So right up until then I had 800 watts during the entire ascent. Um, the temperature kept increasing and it got to the point where the cycle analyst kicked in. So what I'm going to do now is put about 3.5 milliliters of stator aid into the motor. Uh, there's an injection port on these motors since they don't have a disc rotor on them. There's no disc holes to put it in so we have a little threaded hole right in the middle of the seat for crystallite. So there's our temperature right now and uh, it's gone its way down 85, 84, 83, etc. I'm hoping that with stator aid I could do this indefinitely day and night and not have the motor get above maybe 85 or 90. Down that hill, the temperature dropped from just about 80 degrees to 68 degrees Celsius. Uh, so clearly, the stator is having its effect. Aaron will follow the up as fast as he can, and uh, we'll see where we're at at the top. Right at 83 degrees. 83. So without stator in the motor, I would go up and down this hill. The motor got to 117 degrees Celsius, and then the cyclonus kicked in and limited my power to 600 watts. With the addition of stator aid, I could have the full 800 watts of power without the motor overheating. It never got more than 83 degrees. I could run up and down that indefinitely.